What's up everybody? Hey, it's Imperial Beach Dad and I've been really focused on creating different spaces. I don't I don't know why, but that's just something I've been really focused on. Like this is our living gazebo. It's gorgeous. Okay, these are passion fruit uh, vines that have been growing for three years. Look at these blossoms. They're just amazing, right? And uh, see inside, it's quite roomy and a nice little sitting area. And I was thinking, how cool would it be to like stay in hammocks in there and stuff? Oh, and then we have a fire pit out here. Now I just did a bunch of tree trimming, so we've got a bunch of firewood, and we're gonna make a really cool bucket. It's gonna be a pretty way to store junky wood so we can burn it. And it's like we can move it around. Good job, boys. First thing that you're gonna need is one of these. Hello, YouTubes. My name is Ryder. A helper. Yeah. He's gonna be directing our project today. So Ryder, why don't you show us what supplies we're gonna be using for our project today? Hey Ryder, I recognize that thing. I saw it on a curb the other day. Was it trash or treasure? Treasure. Treasure, that's exactly right. This is pretty cool. This is like a I don't know, an end table or coffee table or something. It's got these really cool like claw feet. It's made out of metal. And now obviously at some point this had a top and it didn't when I picked it up, uh, which is why I'm sure it was glass top and it broke or whatever. And I was like, you know what? The shape of that is cool. I'm going to grab it. And it's shiny and I can grab shiny things. Now this is also a curb find. I grabbed this recliner that I thought I was going to use for something and I'm saving for another project for another day. Just all of the hardware for it. This is the base of a recliner, which happens to be a circle shape, and that works out pretty good. The other thing that I was thinking is we have a bunch of this wood that is cut to this size, and this is all just cutoffs from the treehouse. But if we put them side by side, kind of all the way around, we'll get what appears to be a bucket. And so we're gonna screw those in so that it makes a nice looking bucket, and it's gonna be pretty cool. What do you think? I'm ready, let's do this. These are the tools that you're gonna need. A drill and some screws. That's the way I had it, but you just put it down here and that makes more sense to me. Let's screw it in directly to the side of this. Actually, mostly, you're gonna remember watching me do it. What's that about? Would you like to help? Yeah. All right.
Yeah. Good, I think we should test it out. You wanna see if it'll hold firewood? Yeah. Success! <laughs> we have five pieces in it. All right, good, and we've got lots of firewood to stack, so what we're gonna do is pick where we want this thing to live, and then... Gazebo. Yeah, probably near the gazebo, because then when it rains, the wood will get less wet. So we'll put it right where this rackety old table is, which is where I used to have firewood use that wreck of the old table for firewood because it looks pretty bad. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Take a look. Hey, that looks really nice. I'm totally digging it. Looks like it was meant to be. I like it. it. Looks good in the gazebo. The whole backyard looks good from the gazebo. I love this place. Paint it brown? Yeah, you're right. We might spray paint the metal sometime. That's a good idea. That's what we did this gazebo. This gazebo was awful. All right, still has seen better days, but uh, I'm keeping it together. Nothing a few zip ties and other pieces of metal can't fix, and also, you know, bamboo stilt here and there. But good times. All right, say stay stoked. Stay stoked. I was just thinking how messed up is it if you're a piece of wood and you get sawed up for firewood then you get spared to be used as a firewood holder. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's, it's getting dark. You ready? Yes. Okay, well you didn't sound very ready. Why don't you look right at the camera and say, I'm ready, let's do it. I'm ready, let's do it. Okay, so I literally have ants they're gonna be in my pants any second. Apparently this is filled with ants. Ah, ants everywhere! What the heck? I'm glad we're getting rid of this table. Ah, uh, they're all over me. That's so gross, weird. Ants everywhere. Literally all over me. I think, I, I thought there were just some ants in this thing. I think they actually like, this is their home. Guys, cannot live in an Ikea coffee table. Table Good news, while moving the thing, Ryder stepped on, what's this? Uh, passion fruit. That's right, a green egg and ham from Dr. Seuss. Uh, what? passion fruit. Oh, passion fruit, I'm sorry. It does look like a green egg though. Got jokes. So watch, if I were to cut it open, let's find out. No, empty. But yesterday we found one that had some good stuff in it, right? Yeah. How'd you say it tasted? Very sweet. Very sweet. And it's gonna be pretty cool. What do you think? Bucket. Bucket. But better to live on as a firewood holder than to be burned up in the fires forever. Come on, plant. Give us some food that we can eat. You're standing right. Good job. No, that's okay. It's more important that we're getting things done and spending time together than getting a perfect shot of every second thing. Come on, 
Did you fix it for me? Just set it back up? Good job. Come, come around the other way. No, around, around, not over the top. You're not a monster, Chuck. Somebody cool on our street. Had a rad coffee table. Gave it up so that we could have a rad wood holding contraption. And a cool video on YouTube. And a good memory, huh? We're gonna remember doing this together. Ryder, that was perfect. We should call that clip the 10 second clip. The 10 second clip, because it was fast, huh? It was actually 10 seconds. You know what we call that in the industry? We call that one take Jake. That's the guy who does it the first time, every time, and you don't have to do it 10 times. And you did a great job. High five. I found a passion fruit when you did that. Should we see if there's any fruit in it? Yeah. Sometimes we have fruit, sometimes not. No dice! Empty! Okay, let's get on with our project. <laughs> 